It is freaking cold out. I am freezing. I just dropped Janine off. He's, what is this? Uh, round two of like the last 48 hours. I tuned the bike. I tuned my bike a little bit leaner. I got it to just one turnout for the Ford Pilot uh, needle uh, screws. And I rode it around a little bit. Is acting a little bit more erratic and a little weird. It's still like right now. It's it's running good. I don't feel anything weird. But I did I do notice that the idle is a little erratic. Not too much, but I mean it's fluctuating. And I noticed that it was more stable when I had it at oh. So I turned it out a, like a quarter more. So I'm at one. 1.25 turns out one and a quarter um, I might go back to one and a half turns out because I actually wasn't having any problems at one and a half turns out watch this light it's stupid it's gonna turn <laughs> it's gonna turn red for them when they hit the light uh, the light is irritating yes yeah, so I'm at one and a quarter turns out um, you probably see my rpms are moving it's a little weird um, it's going from like, uh, it's just kind of going all over the place. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to get the idle knob to, well, I want it to be like, at least in between 1200 RPM. And the light didn't pick me up, freaking bullshit. So, no hesitation at all. some power. I mean, so far I haven't really felt anything. <coughs> it is cold though. It's the same temperature since my last video that night. Or, well, it's technically morning. It's like 6 a.m. right now. I think I might actually just turn it back to one and a half turns because I didn't have any problems with one and a half turns. There was just a tiny bit of uh, hesitation, but not really, no, like, probably not really noticeable, unless you're looking for it. Like, I was looking for really any kind of, any kind of surge of power, power loss, and stuff like that. Well, what I'm really trying to achieve is the optimal setting, and the setting where I'm not going to be getting garbage mileage. I want to, I want to be getting stock, like, mileage, but, I mean, gas consumption, Jesus, freaking lights, you can't see shit, that's the only thing I don't like about new cars, I like the, the new lights, they look cool, the projector bulbs, or the projector lights, whatever, but you can't see, well, if, you're, if it's a two-way, I don't know if his brights are on, and, I, and maybe they weren't, I don't know, but I just turned my brights on, but I can't see shit, really. Uh, he's probably like, my brights aren't even on. This oh, and one of the things that may actually play a role in the sporadic behavior of my idol, one of my pilot screws is, I don't know what you would call it, but it's damaged. So when I'm turning it, it'll just keep turning. It's not moving at all, it's just the actual flathead. Like, the part that has the flathead, the, the tip of the screw, isn't really attached completely to the whole thing anymore. And it's been like that. I knew it was like that. So I was just trying to turn it even with less strength. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not completely in sync with the rest of the three. And that may actually be playing a role with the how it's running. And I actually did replace that. I replaced it a while back because I got it stuck and I couldn't get this stupid thing out. So I had to spray WD and let it sink into the pilot. I think I used WD. Or maybe I know, maybe I didn't. I just uh, used a heat gun and then a, what do we call it, a drill, electric power drill. And then I just put a flat hat on there and I just kept running it until finally it came out. I put a little pressure on it to grip a little bit better. And I bought a new piece 
but I guess that new piece is the same problem. It wasn't as bad though. So anyway, last night when I was tuning it, I was I just went back to all the way in on all of them because some of them were a little bit off anyway. Just from moving it here and there and not being accurate from the point where it's totally screwed in. So I got the other, well, my old one last night and I used some epoxy on the very, like where, where it connects to the copper, copper and the, I'm assuming it's probably steel on the end, or aluminum, probably aluminum because it is, it does strip pretty easy. Just to see if that will hold it and keep it from turning separately and I'm gonna try to put the, I'm gonna put that one back on here luckily the that pilot that has the faulty screw right now is actually the easiest one to get to so I'm probably gonna do that today or maybe later today maybe tonight and see how that goes but I do want to check to make sure it's not turning so and I might just go ahead and do the same to this the one that's in here now just to help reinforce it and then if this one doesn't work, well, I'm assuming it would, I wouldn't, because the epoxy really holds to, like, metals, too. It's not just, not just for, like, fiberglass or, uh, I mean, epoxy, you could really use it for anything. And it's funny, I just found out about epoxy maybe two years ago. I always thought it was just, like, a, a piece of crap glue or something, like super glue, but not that strong. But, jeez, epoxy, man. Finding out about epoxy, like its properties and all that, how strong it is, what you can use it for, it's like I epoxy the shit out of everything. If something breaks, epoxy is usually the first thing I'll go to. And it's like a very strong, uh, what is it, tensile? Tensile strength? Yeah, they're very strong. Well, I'm sure all of them are, but the one I got, I think it's like 9,000 tensile strength. Ooh, he went a red light. I did that earlier, uh, last night, at about... It was maybe like about 10, 10 p.m., 2200. I'm, I'm really assuming that it's going to hold, and I don't know why I didn't do that before. Whoa, you know what, actually, when I... I, actually, I was trying to fix that before, but instead of using epoxy, I used super glue. Well, that doesn't, I don't even think that adheres to metal. It might sort of, but just as like a tape, sort of an adhesive like tape. It's, it doesn't really hold. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to hold. Oh yeah, today is, I think it's Saturday. Oh, today's Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday, so we'll probably see, like, kind of weird drivers out, probably drunk drivers. That's usually how it goes. Well, Janine works weekends and Mondays sometimes. Actually, I think all the time. Uh, her schedule changes. So every time I drop her off, usually when I drop her off, but we'll see dumbass drivers, like people just swerving in and out of lanes, people really questionable driving. I love the sound of this bike. I mean, well, I really, I like the sound of the bike, but I love the sound of the bike when it's actually running nice. Because I'm used to, I'm used to hearing it ride like shit. Like, bogging down at certain points of the throttle, and, I mean, it sounds smooth right now. It sounds, like, all in sync. And they're probably, I'm sure they're not in sync just because of that one pilot screw, but it sounds nice. And really my ultimate goal is to, yeah, like I was saying earlier, just get my mileage. I've actually never gotten good mileage on this bike. So with that, I was just thinking, I was running it really rich, so what if I run it as lean as I can, but only until there is no performance loss, which is, I'm assuming this is the, this is the leanest I can get it uh, when it comes to the pilot needle screws. I think it might, it might actually be a little bit leaner than it should be. Just because, well, it's a little different. I'm not really used to running it. I've never had this bike running lean before. I don't know if you'd say it's lean, but leaner. But I'm really looking forward to 
taking this on trips if I get the mileage all worked out again.